is up guys good morning it is another beautiful day and i hope you are all doing amazing today's how to was requested by me and today we are going to learn how to do the back wheel turbine both regular and switch footed so i've wanted to redo this video for a long time now it is one of my most viewed how to's but in my personal opinion it is my worst. It was my first ever how-to and I was very introverted back then. I was a completely different person. And I really want all my videos to have this energy about them. You get me? So yeah, here we are. And this is a perfect trick if you're a complete beginner and want to get into some back wheel action that you see in all your favorite edits. Okay, so we're going to take a step by step. First up, we're going to take on the regular footed turbine. If you can already do them and just want to go on to switch footed turbines, I'll put a timestamp thing down here. So step by step, a regular foot turbine you will need to learn a rocket manual then a rocket manual in a circle and then spin in a rocket manual i do have a how to for a rocket manual up on my channel i'll link it down in the description but that is what you need to learn first and foremost before you learn how to do the turbine so learn how to do the rocket manual in a straight line learn how to get the balance point especially if you're just starting out this is going to be your first back wheel trick so a rocket manual is the staple for a back wheel turbine and a lot of other back wheel tricks so when you get to the spinning point of the rocket manual this is when your balancing leg will start doing some work and you might have to move your balancing leg from forward up at the pedals around in a semi-circle behind you to get and then pick the front wheel up and you'll start going in a really tight circle when you're first going into it and picking up the front wheel kicking around the carve is very important you need to carve into your spin a little bit so you start that forward momentum and that will make it easier to then go in a tight circle and change that momentum of your spin once you can do that, once you can start with your balancing leg at the sprocket slash crank slash pedal and get into your spinning rocket manual, that is when you're ready to do a turbine. You will notice that when you pick your front wheel up while going into a spin, your outside elbow will be very bent in while your inside elbow will be fairly straight. Keep that in mind as it's very important for the turbine. And when you are ready to go for a turbine, you're gonna start out the exact same as for a spinning rocket manual. So you'll start with your leg forward, swing it around. And when you pick the front wheel up, go in a circle for about a half to uh, three quarters of a rotation. And then put your balancing leg behind your back wheel behind you. And at the same time, change your arm. Remember I said your bent elbows are gonna be very important. This is where it comes in. So a turbine is done by two motions. Your leg going behind the back wheel. And your arms changing the leaning direction of the bike. If you want to go back to your forward momentum, if you want to just do one turbine and then land, just bring your leg back around forward and your bike should change direction and you should just put the front wheel down, step on the pedals and roll away. As well, when bringing it back, remember to change your arms back and lean the bike back to the starting position. Well done, that's the back wheel turbine, you got it. After you go into a backwards momentum, your bike will naturally want to go back into a forwards momentum. So don't worry much about bringing it back. Just focus on getting it into a backwards momentum and doing that turbine itself. And the other half of the turbine will be so easy. You just have to help it a little bit with your arms and your legs. As to when you should change the momentum of your bike from forwards to backwards, you'll feel it out. It's usually when you feel like you could go into a spin, like when you would bring your knee in and start spinning. That is when you should turbine. Try it, feel it out. It's not too difficult a trick and it's not too dangerous to try, but do be very careful, especially if it's frosty out like today or if it's raining or whatever. Again, it is done mostly by you swing your leg behind the back wheel after picking the bike up to spin and using your arms to change the leaning direction of the bike to then go into a backwards momentum. Your bike will want to go into backwards momentum anyways when you put your leg behind you, but it is very important to try and control it as much as you can so the bike doesn't slip out and you don't fall backwards. And as well, if you don't want to keep going backwards, just bring your legs straight back 
and you'll go back into forward momentum and then you can just land it or link it onto your other tricks. There's really so much that you can do with the back wheel turbine. It is a great addition to your bag of tricks. Okay, so now onto the switch for the turbine. Now the process for learning it is exactly the same as a regular footed turbine. You will want to start off on the opposite side of your bike. So regular footed, your foot will be on the peg that's most comfortable to you. For switch footed, it'll be on the other side of the bike. So for this trick, it'll be on the inside of the spin. And again, take it step by step. Start off by rolling in a straight line. Although this can be a bit hard to roll straight. So you might have to just go in a large circle. Second step, go into a little bit of a tighter circle. And third step, spin. Once you get to the spinning point, works the exact same. Circular kick from the front wheel out and around behind you. Pick the front wheel up, go for about a half to three quarters of a rotation, and then put your foot behind you. Feel it out again when it, when you feel like you're gonna go into a spin. That is usually when you should turbine. Put your foot behind you, change your arms, and the bike leans in the other direction. So you want to lean the bike away from you when you put your foot behind you, and the bike will change direction and you will go into a backwards momentum. And then it's very important to bring your foot back around the way it came. So bring it back out near the frame and forward and you should go back into forward momentum as well remember to use your arms your arms are so important in turbines they change how your bike is positioned and it is what will give you that flow and allow you to do multiple turbines now with a switch for a turbine the bend in your elbows might not be as noticeable but you will definitely notice you lean in the bike away from you more than a regular foot turbine. Also make sure your core is very engaged, but also don't be too tight in your knees. Make sure there's a little bit of looseness there to help you find that balance point and help you feel out the trick. And again, the switch foot turbine can lead to so many things, so many variations, so many different tricks, links, combos, and it's just such a fun trick to learn. I really recommend it to anyone. Now for a switch foot turbine, when you first try it, you will find that you'll feel a bit off center. That's because your entire weight is on the inside of the spin and the only foot that's on the bike is on the inside as well. So your bike will tend to want to lean towards this direction. You have to use your inside hand to kind of pick the bar up and keep the bike stable and not kind of slipping out or to keep yourself from spinning out inside. You basically want to counterbalance the bike wanting to lean towards you and please be very careful. The first time I tried this trick, I face planted and it was not a good time. So let's quickly go over everything again. So both for regular and switch foot turbines, you want to start off rolling at an average speed. Start with your balancing leg in front of the bike and then swing it around. Pick up the front wheel. Go for around half a circle until you feel like you're going to go into a spin. Put your foot behind the back wheel. Lean the bike the other direction with your arms to change the momentum of the bike. And then bring your foot back around and lean the bike back in the starting position to land. And that's it guys, easy. And with both of them you can do multiples, you can connect them with different tricks, you can connect switch and regular foot turbines. The imagination is the only limit. And that is what I love about Flatland. And these will for sure open a lot of new doors in your riding. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and learn it. Thank you so very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope this could help you. Thank you for every single one of you. Your support has been incredible over the past while. I really appreciate it. If you would like to request a how-to, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I hugely depend on your guys' suggestions for these videos. The occurrence where I go back and remake videos. But like I said, when I made my back wheel turbine how-to, I was just starting YouTube and I was very introverted and shy in front of the camera. And I just want my videos to spread this positive energy that I have inside of me. And I want to share it with you guys. So yeah, thank you very much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed. So yeah, thank you very much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new around here, then please press that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications. And if you're already subscribed, just liking the video is plenty. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below with your suggestions for the next how-to. And I will see you in the next video. Peace! I just like
Cheers.